Oh, coffee. Sheets coffee, actually, matter of fact. Not sure if you guys have Sheets where you're located. Might be more of like a Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Maryland, maybe Delaware type of thing. Oh, coffee first thing in the morning. It doesn't help. We were up super late last night playing StarCraft after doing content till about three in the morning. I blame the Misfit Mining community. But anyways, guys, what is going on? And welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Enough of my ramblings here. Let me show you guys the progress we've made on the shed. It's really coming together and we are in the home stretch. We're scheduled for power coming up here very, very soon. Today's video is sponsored by ASICPrices.com. ASICPrices.com is one of my new favorite sites to scope out true profitability and ROI rankings before I make my next ASIC purchase. Check this out. I can simply enter my current electric rate and instantly see what ASICs are best suited for me. On top of that, let's say I want to find what ASIC miner is most profitable to stack Doge and Litecoin. Just select your algo and bam, there is the Bitmain L7. ASICPrices.com has taken things to the next level. Look at this. When you select a miner, look at all this amazing information. Miner statistics and overviews, historic miner prices, daily and 30 day mining revenue, trusted vendors, and much, much more. Go check out ASICPrices.com today. Right, guys check it out so trenching just went ahead and finished up mr. electrician is going and returning the trencher now we rented it and you can see look at this heck yeah we'll have to do a little manual digging right there that's why we got some equipment here and shovels to come in but our cabling is gonna run through here look how deep that is there oh yeah goes all the way up there we'll follow it along in a minute here's what we're gonna be dropping in it's a 2224 cable. It's going to go ahead and drop in there. This guy was from Lowe's. 160 feet running into the house from here. We then have two Ethernet cables we're running as well in there. Um, this is exterior rated and it's meant for burial. Uh, it also has the silicone and everything inside of it to keep it nice and safe. We're running two just in case one of these guys does end up getting cut. We at least have another one there and available so we're not retrenching things and things like that or losing out on internet. So let's take a walk together. It runs up. We had to run it around this big tree here. I believe he hit a root or two along the way. That made things take a little bit longer but worked out awesome. When he gets back from returning it, we're gonna drop the cable in and get this guy all cleaned up. So, runs up along here, and here is our final destination, right here on the side of the house. So, he talked about bringing everything in, right in here, drill through the brick, and then his panel is literally right on the other side of this wall here. So he's gonna tap right into the panel, just enough just enough cable which worked out awesome while we wait give you guys an update of inside the shed we just got our epoxy in this is a one car garage epoxy it's going to be gray with the white blue and black flakes if you guys are looking for something like this for your shed basement garage i'll put a link directly down below to it got it right off of amazon inside here let's go ahead and take a look uh, so everything's going to be coming in right here and then the panel is gonna be right here and that's gonna feed right into the bottom of the panel. Here's all the cables. We got all of our 10-2 uh, and our 14-2 here. Here's gonna be all of our meter boxes for that power. So super excited. 
Uh, all of our wiring goes around here. I started this today as, I have as I've had time. We're painting all the plywood white to brighten things up inside the shed. So that's getting painted. This will be painted here shortly. Look at this, we put a little shelf right here, which will be nice for working in the shed uh, and having a set up there. Uh, we do have, I did get my other light in. I just replaced that one today too. So we have four lights now in the shed. It looks like we have power, but it's actually just running off this extension cord for now, tapped into our electrical feed to get some airflow in the shed. It's actually on speed of 10 right now by itself, doing really well in here. Man, things are moving along. Power is gonna be coming up this week. Can't wait. This is gonna be all be painted. We're gonna be ready to do the floor this week. We are moving along, guys, aiming for that September 1st date to get our first ASIC up and running. Let me get back outside and give you guys an update on the trench. All right, guys, so check it out. We're in the home stretch here of getting everything trenched and good to go. Hasn't been entirely mounted yet. We still gotta do silicone and get everything mounted. We're also gonna be adding in the PVC conduit there to take it underground a little bit more and make it nice and clean, but there you go. You can see we have both of our ethernet and our power coming in here, which looks awesome, right into the shed using this 90 box. Uh, and then you can see, look, here is where our cable was entirely trenched and came all the way through here. And look at this, runs all the way up the yard and to the house, which is pretty awesome. So we'll follow along here. Mr. Electrician did a really good job and let's head over to the house. Take a look at this, guys. So at the house side of things, you can see, look, we gotta bring it in and pipe it right into the house. We have our tons of extra ethernet cable, which is awesome to allow us to go into the house and then the router and everything is right up here on the, I guess it's the first floor there. <clears throat> the garage and stuff is more down here. And then look, here's our power cable, plenty of power cable to go ahead in and go right into the electrical box there. So all of that has to be done here uh, in the next day or two to get cleaned up. But let's head into the shed because I wanna show you guys in the shed how we're making out. We gotta get the panel mounted uh, and get breakers in and get everything online. All right, let's jump inside the shed here. Here's our cable and here's our ethernet. Now the game plan is, is here's actually the plywood. It's all gonna go right here. Panel's gonna go right here. Uh, and actually all of our cable is gonna come up behind the plywood here. You see how the plywood's there? So everything's gonna come up behind there. Uh, ethernet, we're actually gonna take up and we're gonna do a shelf right here. I do have a bracket, a uh, 1U bracket for our switch. So network switch is gonna go right here with a small shelf. I'm going with the Google mesh system out here. So that's gonna sit right up here on a shelf. The nice thing is, is then from the switch, we're gonna go ahead and pipe it over right here. All the ethernet at once, go through these U brackets and drop in. Uh, since I gave you guys an update before, we decided to paint our uh, plywood, just kind of brighten things up inside here. Went ahead and painted our desk, look at that. Turned out good. And then over here too, this is all painted. Turned out nice. We're gonna have this same setup right over here. Just brightens everything up inside here. Looks, makes it look really, really clean. We still gotta get these meter boxes in as well. Um, but we're getting there, progress. I did go ahead here, I had a little time yesterday and you can see I went ahead and cable managed and piped in on both of these T14s, AC Infinity had a little extra cable, put them in here, and then put everything into this guy right here, which is great. I do have to install the temperature probe. I'm gonna install a temperature probe here, and then I'm not sure if I wanna do the temperature probe sitting on the exhaust side here, or bring it up through the rafters and drop it down in here and kind of get a gauge. We'll have to see, because you're gonna have a lot of heat kind of like hanging out up here, so I might do it on the exhaust side uh, I've heard that works really well um, for everything. But yeah, tons of progress, guys. It's coming along really well. September 1st is still our date to get our first ASIC up and running inside the shed. If you guys enjoyed today's video and update, give it one of these, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.